Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Blood on the Well Done Difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Bloodite Draken, and this is Episode 1, Map 2, Wrong Side of the Tracks. Now, as you can see, you start where you left off. There's the previous room. That room is stuck. The funeral house is no longer accessible. I like a neat little detail like that. Heck, that's not even a secret anymore. Okay, moving through. Jump through the hole in the wall. And just take out these two zombies with your pitchfork. Or flare gun or shotgun, if you prefer. It's up to you, I don't mind. Alright, a lot of barrels to blow up today. A lot, bit of a barrel of laughs, I think. So that's that carriage completely destroyed. Ooh, fresh victims for the ever-growing army of the undead. We have another one to pass through to make progress. This, yeah, it's a linear start at the moment, but then it opens up in all sorts of directions once you get to the train station. Anyway, jump in the carriage and get the zombies attention. We'll grab the shotgun afterwards. Just wait for them to come down one at a time and, and poke away. Poke. 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 Come on. Now, you can jump straight through the carriage and get into a firefight if you like, but what I prefer to do is be sneaky about it. Get their attention. You can see so you can go through the left uh, past the carriage on the left side. And because you're getting them to, you're drawing their attention through this narrow path. It's easier to line them up like fish in a barrel, pretty much. And you'll take minimal damage. Okay, flip that switch. It'll rotate this carriage around. That's not the first time that's ever happened. Um, Alright, open up these doors and some bats will fly out, but pay no mind to them. They, they don't even count on the enemy kill count. Just proceed through this tunnel and just give away at every zombie you see. I've gotten pretty decent at giving these zombies effectively with a pitchfork, I might say. If I do say so myself. Yeah, it's monotonous to do this, I know, but again, you know, I just like to save my resources. Right, so don't go barreling out of out into the open. You'll get yourself shot down very easily. Uh, just lob some TNT on both sides and you'll take out a cultist each. And there'll be one coming down the pathway, so just fire a flare at him, it'll connect, I guarantee it. He'll burst into flames. And then what I like to do is just run straight past him, and fire an alt fire shot at all the cultists. Probably won't kill them all, but it'll get the majority of them. Sometimes. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. Unfortunately, the shell's dropped everywhere. If you shoot this guy off the wall, uh, I thought he would drop a heart, because most times when I blow him up along with the cultists, yeah, usually there's two life essences. <laughs> Whatever. Let's make our way inside the Miskatonic Station, shall we? Right, we've got a cultist on the stairs, so, but first... I have no idea what he was saying other than announcing a train ride to Greentown. We'll be going there shortly. Anyway, there's a cultist around the corner, just surprise shoot him. <laughs> and then there's cultists in that ticket booth there and cultists to your left up on a balcony. So I'm going to go for the guys on the balcony first. Got him. 
little bit of punishment for it, but you know what? We just, as we, as you just noticed a moment ago, we met another m member of the uh, Cheddar Box cult. The guys in black are called fanatics. So they're basically a rank above the cultists, I would imagine, and they pack more vicious firepower. The cultists usually pack shotguns, but the cult, the uh, fanatics will pack Tommy guns. Yeah. We know that those are deadly machine that sort of, those are deadly machine guns. Right, so throw TNT at them. Aceland on the bars to be anywhere effective. Alright, well, whatever. Right, moving around the ticket booth. There's an entrance on the other side. I usually just, oh didn't go widest plan, but yeah, I usually just throw a TNT there in order to take them, the cultists and fanatic out with ease. Now, we've got to be careful, there's a cultist still in there. Gotcha. Take it, please. Hey, we don't need no stinking ticket. We'll climb aboard that train station platform armed to the teeth. There's more cultists around these corners. I'm just going to take them out with flare guns. That hurt. And for one of the secrets sake, I really want to keep my health as high up as possible. Alright. Fanatic must be dead, I'm sure. I hope. There's more cultists in the waiting room here, so... Once again, I'm just going to... Oh, this is not going according to plan! Alright. <clears throat> I survived it. I might go back for a corpse. I think he's holding a heart for me. I guess I'll just caught them hearts for short. Yeah, we, we, both, we all know about life essences. It's just easier to say a heart uh, on the fly. Anyway, all those cultists are dead, so we're free to wander around this waiting room for a bit. <coughs> and... Who could that be? Hello? May I speak to Mr. Jazz? Oh, it's just a crank caller. Some flares on top. Let's see if the other phones do anything. Um, that's out of order. That's out of order too. Hello, a, s a phone booth holding a secret. Interesting. Oh, I know who that is. But I'll mention him at a later time. Um, so we can. We can go to either the Pub and Grill, or Pikmin's Rare Books and Maps. Why don't we go to the bookshop first? There's a nice little sort of easter egg. I don't know my... I don't know religion quite all that well, I, could, I guess I could say, but I could swear that that's Baby Jesus and Mary. Haunted, by the looks of it. <laughs> anyway. Oh crap. Yeah, there's cultists hiding me on that bookshelf. And you gotta be careful if you see, Oh! Yeah, if you trigger them off, it'll uh, spread open the bookshelves. And the cultists will go right after you. I was hoping to catch them with dynamite, but yeah, that didn't work. Hey! A bookshop! At a train station. Always a neat idea. Buy yourself a nice book to read on the train. Does anyone still do that in this day and age anymore? Anyway, two secrets in this little bookshop. Just press on the cash register. Grab yourself a med kit, doctor's bag, some body armor. Yeah, that cash register pretty much opens those shelves up. Or, well, lowers them down, I guess you could say. So now let's head over to the pub and grill. I believe we need to get a key over there, possibly. Just wake this zombie up. There's a couple of cultists lying in wait. So... 
Ah, uh, we've got enough ammo in the shotgun. Yeah. Whoops. That could have gone better. Has he got anything for me? No, he doesn't. Damn it. Anyway, shall we have a drink? I sure could use a drink. Sounds good. Let's have some wine. So we got the kitchen area back here as you do. Whoa, rats. Your best way to doesn't feel efficient, but it's, it works. But your best bet's to just crouch down and shoot them, pretty much. I'd rather use a pitchfork, but it's kind of difficult to do. Employees must wash hands. I like my hands bloody. You tell them, Caleb. Anyway, we have a secret here. Ah, oh, damn. gonna be able to get that 200 health like I wanted. So this first half of the secret gives you flares and TNT. Um, but if you open up this this fridge, leftovers. That is a very tiny fridge for a kitchen, if I might say. Anyway, open it back up. Press on the bloody handprints and get yourself some invin. In Invisibility, but we can't use that yet, and I'll show you why. I believe we have the dagger key. Uh, moon key. Sorry. It's hard to think on the fly. Anyway, what we're going to do is pretty much run up this hallway with the invisibility. Yeah, we're ready to use it. I like the, the transparent in invisibility effect in this game as well. It's really cool. So just, yep, gun down those cultists in the manager's office, and this is where having the invisibility comes in handy. We're just completely averted being ambushed. So, invisibility is about to run out. Uh, press on this painting for a, a secret guns akimbo. I won't be using that, of course. And smash open this window and jump out onto the roof for a live seed. I'm going to hold off grabbing that for now, though. I really want to try and walk out of this map with as much health intact as possible, so... <clears throat> normally I would grab it right about now, but we'll wait. So now we have the fire key. Run up these stairs. Get the, a couple of zombies have woken up and are coming after us, so we'll take them out. Come down here where I come down in the open where I can fight you. Yeah, those zombie heads get really annoying if you're trying to keep some slick footing. They can really trip you over. So when you're trying to move out the way of something, you know, they can get they get under your feet pretty much. Ooh. Let's do a, a dynamite snake attack. <laughs> that ought to shut him up. Yeah, we just blew out some pos posters. One said Possum Gallo. The other one is another Jojo poster. Oh, Christ. You know what, the way things are looking, I'll just grab the doctor's bag and then go get the life seed. Or we'll use the doctor's bag. Oh. Eh, let's just do that. I was hoping to avoid using it, but, you know, shit happens. Throw some TNT at the uh, opening gate. Sometimes you can take out some cultists early that way. 
Beautiful, thank you. So, open her up and get ready to use the alt fire and the flare gun. Well, that's... Oh. That's how I like to usually do things around here. Come on, zombie. So the train's pulling up. It's going to have some cultists on it. I just wanted him out of the way. I usually use the pitchfork. Looks like my train's coming. Ah, oh, that shot missed. Yeah, I usually like to use the flare gun to take out two or more cultists if they're bunched up together. <laughs> Kick the bucket around. Okay, so we can pretty much just exit the level now if you like, but I'm going to go into the no admitted door. I think it's a storage closet pretty much. And take out everyone inside. Should be just a couple more zombies left and then that'll be it. And a trunk. Either he got sp sprayed with lead something good, or he drank way too much alcohol. Probably not really possible to vomit out blood, but... <laughs> oh well. So, our last secret... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Drunk. Our last secret, you blow open that wall, and it'll lead you to, like, a... Sort of cavern-like structure. I don't know what I'd really call it. But it connects the end of the level to the Pikmin's bookshop. You get some uh, CD. You got the uh, hole in the roof that you can jump through, and, then you, and you just saw I got shells and TNT. And if you blow open this crack in the wall, that leads to a crack, a hole in the wall, and there's the uh, the hole in the roof. Another ni nice little neat touch for bloodbath purposes. I like that. Now, before I exit the level, I'm going to do a save. I'll show... Because I want to show just a nice little Easter egg of a laugh. It's not a reference to anything, it's just something that amuses me. So, let's see. Bah, 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 bah. Alright. Let's get out of here. And I'll see you guys on the Phantom Express. Talk to you later.